Do you know that feeling we get when we find something new and we want to try everything we can, every possible angle, every possible use? Well, that was me since day zero when I started using the beta version of Evernote Home. And wow, it's been two years since Hum was introduced. And in my opinion, it's the most important feature of Evernote 10 because it works as a hub where we can consolidate information and activity. However, like everything new, like I said, we want to try everything. I did try, I think, too much. <laughs> um, the way I see Evernote Hum today is quite different. Back then, I would like to have everything there. If you go back and watch some of my first videos about Evernote Home, you listen to me complaining about the number of widgets. Sometimes I would say 12 is not enough, I need more. <laughs> we have to be careful, and this happened to me. I was trying to do everything with Evernote Home, but we cannot forget the other amazing features. For example, the filter on Evernote 10 is much better than the filter before Evernote 10. We have so many variables there to combine and find notes. We can act on our notes. And of course, there are the trusty tags, notebooks, and notes, the shortcuts area, and even keyboard shortcuts like Command J on Mac or Control Q on Windows. That helps us jump from one note to another or one notebook to another. I now have only seven widgets on Evernote Home and I'm pretty happy with this setup, at least for now. <laughs> what I'm doing here is keeping only the next actions and also some widgets that help me find information in Evernote. I still use the full-size calendar because I like to see the, the, the month and also the appointments and it's my first widget because it's time. There's nothing we can do to control time. We are controlled by time. So it is the first one. That's, that's why it is there. And there's an interesting story here. I once made a mistake. I add an appoint, a business appointment to my personal calendar. I'm sure I was going to miss that appointment and Evernote Home saved me. Uh, I was walking to my car and I opened Evernote. I looked at the widget because I also have the calendar as the first widget on Evernote Home. And I saw the appointment and I had enough time to get to the office that day. It was a happy ending story because I have both calendars linked to Evernote, my business calendar and my personal calendar. And I really love the fact that I can see the upcoming meetings and click to create a note if I don't have a note for that meeting or click to go to a note of that meeting. This, this is such a good feature. It really helps me a lot. It's so easy to go to notes. For example, I can go back to yesterday. It's one click. I'll see all the notes there and all the appointments and I can click on the, the, note, the note that is linked to one appointment to, to, to reveal a note or check some information on that note. This, I love this widget. It, it, it's great. It changed the way I use Evernote forever. Below that is that tasks widget. I never ever use that drawer, the tasks drawer. I know that a lot of people like that and use that, but as I'm sure you already know by now, I'm more of a workflow person. So the only tasks I keep here are monthly tasks. The birthdays, the, in this case it's yearly. <laughs> the birthdays, the payments, and the, my company uh, bureaucracies that I have, things that I have to do, paperwork that I have to do every month. So this is here to make sure that I did that and I also attach maybe a proof of payment or other document to that note. There are many videos here on the channel where I talk about the, 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 the tasks, widgets, the ideas, but today this is the only 
uh, the only tasks I keep there. And this is a medium size widget just because this is the size that will let me see the note where the task is. And I can click the note to go to the note instead of clicking uh, the task title to open the, that, that task pop-up. This row also has my scratch pad and although sometimes I take notes there, I'd say that 99.9% .9 of the time I use that as a grocery list or any other thing that I have to buy. Uh, it's just a buying list. <laughs> I just take notes there of things that I, that, I, that I need or that I want to buy. The next row is my work in progress. One of the widgets is also called work in progress, WIP. It has many of the notes that I'm working on. For example, video scripts, the script for this video is there. And the other widget has the notes of my clients, clients that I'm working with right now. If you watch my past videos, you see that I used to have the entire workflow on Evernote Home, but that wasn't making sense. I now see Home as this place that shows me what I have to do today. It, it's my dashboard. It's the next things that I have to work on. So that's why the WIP uh, widget and also my clients, uh, current clients, are in this row. Below that, the last row has my notes widget. Sometimes I think this widget it's so underrated. This is such a good widget because when we create a note, it's going to be the first note there. And if we create an, another note after that one, that note will be there. And so many times we need a note that we just created. And I, I always come here, I always go down there and look for the note instead of searching for it, instead of going to the notes list. And finally, there is a pin note. It's my family documents main note. There's a video here in the channel, one of the first videos where I explain how I organize the documents, how I have them in Evernote. I changed the appearance a little bit. I'm now using the notes previews and I moved some of the documents to Google Drive. There are other videos where I talked about this here in the channel. I have to, I have to work on, a, on an updated version of that video, but the concept, the idea is the same. So if you want to know how this pin note helps me, go watch that other video. And if you are interested in finding out how the new pin note is, subscribe to the channel. And what about you? Do you use home? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. See you soon.